So, um, we're going to talk about the passive, the so called yeah. passive. So, as you can see, before we start, I just have one quick question. So, mm -hmm. in the in the few of the examples you had last time, so there mm -hmm. was a verb like say fue construida. So, mm -hmm. construida is it like past like perfecto because perfect yeah. is okay. other or okay. either, right? Okay, we're gonna talk about that as well. Right? Okay. okay, okay. Um. So yes, it's a past participle. As okay. you can see. Okay. Um, so, uh, as we seen in Spanish, unlike English, there are several ways to build the so-called passive. Mm -hmm. uh, so basically, when we talk about passive or passiva in Spanish, mm -hmm. we're talking like the subject of the sentence is not the doer of the sentence; it's the receiver of the mm -hmm. of the action. So usually in English, when you have such a sentence, you have the verb to be, and then you have a past participle. So I was beaten, I was told, mm -hmm. or any other tense, okay? So it could be present perfect. So um, for example, you could say, I will be helped, yeah? It could be mm -hmm. the future, yeah? But you always have two uh, verbs, past uh, to be, and then past participle at the end. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah, indeed, for the passive, you need the past participle. Later, we're going to see past participle is used in many other uh, structures, as you, you already know, like uh, he comido, he hecho, yeah? Mm -hmm. okay. The difference here is like, you're going to use the verb ser, okay? Mm -hmm. For the passive, always use the verb ser, usually in the past. But it had, doesn't have to be the past. It could be any tense. Uh, yeah. So, for example, este palacio, okay, so this palace, yeah. fue diseñado, was designed yeah, in, in the siglo XVI, in the 16th century, yeah. or, so this is by in English, yeah. Yeah. or yeah. el arquitecto Francisco yeah. I. Yeah. Oh, no. So basically, this means the same as this. This would be the same sentence in the so-called active. Active, yeah. So El arquitecto del rey Francisco. Okay. Same, yeah. okay. mm -hmm. So as you can see, this is just another way to say the, th the same thing. So you could say, the dog beat me, or I was beaten by the dog. Yeah? Uh -huh. That is pretty much the same. But... Mm -hmm. um, Express in two different uh, perspectives, so to say. Yeah? Now, um, so this uh, particular way of expressing, this is more of a written thing in, in Spanish. Okay, so usually you're going to use this structure with the verb to be. Mm -hmm. When you talk about history or it's, uh, journalistic style okay. okay okay why because in spanish there are more ways to express this okay yeah because we, i think you just briefly mentioned like with mm -hmm. se and se and on and things like that mm -hmm. so something we use a lot in spanish as you could see is this little word yeah, yeah. se mm -hmm. with a lot of different meanings by the way as you can see so one uh, meaning of this we use this say, uh, what we mean people in general, nobody is in special. Impersonal, like you said. Exactly. It's called impersonal. In España se hablan cuatro lenguas. Yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. so in Spain, uh, people speak mm -hmm. four languages or something like that. Exactly. En este palacio se construyó el siglo XVI. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so when you have this, you have the C. Let's take a look at another one. Se ve que no está en condiciones de trabajar. Yeah? No se puede entrar a la tienda por ahí. Yeah? So, okay. okay. So, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. okay. Um, however, uh, we also have another particular way of expressing something 
when you don't really want to talk about who did something because it's either not important or it's redundant. Something we do a lot, we use uh, the third person approach. So basically, it's like you talk about them. Yeah. That is more you don't... person plural kind of thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you're gonna see this. The, the verb is um, conjugated like you talk about them, but we don't really know who they are mm -hmm. because it's not really important. Okay. So let's take a look at that, at this one, for example. He llamado al seguro. So I have call insurance. Okay. Y me han dicho, they okay. have told me. Okay. Mm -hmm. So here I don't really. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, for example, mm -hmm. ayer detuvieron al empresario acusado de corrupción. Okay, so. So, wait a moment. So, we have four different ways to express the passive in Spanish. So the first one, yeah, this is the one that looks like English, but it also is the, the one that sounds the most formal in Spanish. Right. So this is kind of the past perfect, and that's why we have the series. Exactly. Of three, three exactly. And, yeah, so you're going to have the verb to be. Mm -hmm. It could be in the past, or it could be in other tense. Okay, it doesn't have to be for, it could be as a seed or... Okay. or but later you're gonna have this past participle. Mm -hmm. Then you have two structure with se. Okay. So That's you that. have this se. Mm -hmm. So se ha mendido, yeah. And also this impersonal one. In Spanish, se se nadie. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is probably the most used one in Spanish. Okay. So, so uh, you're gonna yeah. talk about them. But we don't really know who they are. Yeah? So, so it's a plural sense. So on is the plural of a. Exactly. Kind of perfect. Exactly. Um, okay, so here we have some construction. So, era, so you can see, eran envenenados. Okay. Fueron temidos. Ha sido descubierto. descubierto. Ser dirigido. So you can see, all of this is actually the first construction. Is this one? Okay. But start. you can see it's used in different tenses. So it could be in the uh, imperfecto, indefinido, uh, perfecto, even in the infinitive, as you can see. Yeah? It doesn't so have to be indefinido. That. That's perfect. Okay. So you can see the verb to be could be in any tense. Mm -hmm. Any tense. It could be such an, it doesn't matter. Okay. What they all have is a past participle at the end. Uh -huh. And this past participle, it could be in the plural or it could be the feminine. So you can see sometimes you have an S. So they uh -huh. they work like an adjective. Okay. okay. So effectively the verb at the end will be always past, past, past participle. It can be singular, exactly. plural. Exactly. Or... So you could have either an O ND or you have an A ND or you could have an S. So it could be masculine, singular, or feminine, yeah? plural kind of or plural, yeah, any of those. So it could be all, it could be also, it could be ah, it could be us. Mm -hmm. And that depends on the thing you're talking about. Mm -hmm. So for example, ese rey fue derrocado por los franceses en 1495. Okay, Der número dos. Derrocado, what it means? Um, um, uh, beaten, yeah, oh. it was, uh, oh. yeah. Okay, so Machiavelli, Paul, uh, conspiracy, eat, Tyson, okay. Okay, so think of conspiration and Betrayal. Yeah, right. Yeah, right, right, right. So, so, the, so okay. they are bad things, yeah? They are crimes. Yeah, right, right, right. So, so it is, uh, what is Encar, uh, Dirigido is like, uh, or Encarcel, what it means? I okay, know. what do you, okay, look inside the world. Can okay. you see something related to prison? 
in 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 Oh, carcel can be kind of. <laughs> yeah, carcel in okay. Spanish means prison. Okay. So it's in English you have the word incarcerated, right? Yeah, right, right. right. So this is incarcerated. This is yeah, like so, he was put into prison. Yeah, so make yeah, so okay, for conspiracy. So fue encarcelado. He was put into prison. Yeah, oh, literally, he was incarcerated. Yeah? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Tres. Antiguamente, so Antiguamente. formerly, though, in old times, okay, um, a because, lot of kings. Yeah, for sus descendientes and descendientes. As... Mm -hmm. Descendientes. So, we have, this is one king or more than one king? So, more than one, because muchos... Okay, like, so here you have a clue. Yeah, okay, so it has to be... So, it's a, it's a plural, you need yeah. a plural, right? Right, right, so it has to be that the first three, kind of. Mm -hmm. yeah, and, so, and, now you have, era envenenado, fueron temido, o han sido descubierto. And descendientes, what it means here? Like versus descendientes. Descendientes. So descendiente is like descendant or... Oh, okay, okay. okay so I would say fueron temidos. Okay. They were afraid. Yeah? Okay, okay. Muchas veces lo que he perdido de descendiente. Sí, porque descubiertos no están aquí, porque descubrir no es No, 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 no. Eso hace sentido. Sí, eso hace sentido. Cuatro. El material no puede. No puede. Uh -huh. En camiones, debido a su presencia. So, camiones, do you know? Is it related to walking or like I mean? Uh... Okay, camión is a mean of transport. Okay, so mean of transport. So what means transport we talking? Car, plane, well, which one do you think? A car is coaches, right? So Yeah. Like, so it's something bigger than a car. Yeah, okay. So it's a truck. it's a camion trucks, truck. correct? Yeah, so. So camion, one truck, camiones, trucks. Trucks, yeah? Yeah. okay. And camiones, okay. So So what can you do with a truck? So you you move kind of so you kind mm -hmm. of and, and and this is multiple trucks kind of so so let's yeah. take a look at, at these verbs so is there any verb related to moving uh well reconstruir is constructing kind of exactly so, so it's not that yeah. one no so say trasladado i, I don't know mm. like, what is trasladado move like translating kind of like like okay it looks like translate doesn't it yeah no. Yeah, right. this is a false friend because it does not mean translate. Okay. <laughs> so when we when actually when you say translate, what you do is you're moving from one language to another in English, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. In Spanish, trasladar it just means to move place. Okay. So for example, when you move in house, you say me he trasladado, me he mudado. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay. So yeah, el material no puede ser trasladado. Okay, so pretty much, so don't put the material in, uh, like, like, in, like. So in that, that material can't be moved. Moved. Okay. By trucks truck. due to its dangerosity yeah. or no. yeah. Peligrosity. Yeah. Peligrosity. Yeah. yeah. Cinco. Este okay. año. Una parte de la muralla de Avia. So we have this year. Yeah, this year, yeah. Right. So it cannot be indefinido. Right. So it's it, uh, so it has to be per, like perfect kind of thing mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in the recent thing. So So we have two two expressions with the perfect. Han sido recubierto and han sido reconstruida. All these two, huh? Yeah, right. So esta ni una parte de muralla de Okay, what is muralla? Any idea? Muralla. Let's take a look. Muralla. So when you have a question, you, something you could do, 
is you go to Google Images, so look yeah. at what you have. Okay, so some me okay, so I think I have been there actually in Avia this this mm. <laughs> Muralla. Yeah. So we have La Muralla China. Yeah, yeah. And you have La Muralla de Avila. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So I think it will be the descubierto, like that. So it was uh, discovered the the Muralla in Avia. Discovered? No. No, no. It, it was must be discovered long back. So it Re was reconstructed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So because. It must have been discovered. Re rebuilt. Yeah, yeah, rebuilt, yeah, right, right. So, este año ha sido reconstruida una parte de la muralla de Ávila. Okay. So, what does muralla mean? So, some murals, some construction, like... Uh, what can... Okay. So, always talking about... So, muralla would be a city wall. Okay. 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 So notice, like, um, translation can be confusing because if you look at a muralla, you're going to mm -hmm. have, like, a wall, but it's not any kind of wall. It's a city wall, like this one, like the one in Avila, yeah? Okay, okay, okay. You won't talk about muralla when you talk about your house, yeah? Okay, okay. Hmm, okay. Los Medici. Los Medici, uh y ad, admirados al uh, a la vez en Italia. So, los Medici, uh, so, so this also will be... Uh, okay, uh, a la vez, at the same time. Yeah, in Italy, kind of, so... In Italy. So this is admi so this is one past participle, yeah. Right. So this admirados, also, yeah. admired, yeah. Yeah. Admired. Right. So, so this you have to do something con uh, opposite to admire or something like that. Yeah. yeah. So I would I would go for this one. Fueron temidos. So temer is to be afraid. Okay. So okay. there were. Uh, uh, respected, I would say in English, they were respected, or people were afraid of this guy, and at the same time admire. Admire, okay. In Italy, okay. Because they were a powerful family. I see. Yeah? Okay. Los Medici. Okay. Seven. Uh, los restos de un mamut prehistórico. Prehistórico. What is mamut? Mamut is the same, yeah? Mamut. Oh, okay, so elephant. Okay, okay. Not an elephant. Oh, so the it's older than an elephant. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. So more like a fossil kind of thing, like. like <laughs> so this is what we call a uh, a mammoth. Yeah, it's a a mammoth. Yeah. Oh, mammoth. Okay, okay, okay. Any extinct? Okay, okay. I see. I see. Yeah. Okay, okay. So mammoth in Spanish. Okay. Yeah? okay. Okay, so so this can be discovered actually because mm -hmm. exactly yeah. discovered, yeah. Yeah, so han sido descubiertos. Exactly, han sido descubiertos los restos. So yeah. not the degrees in number as well. So the rests right. of right. a mammoth, prehistorical mammoth. Yeah, yeah right. Okay. What's your Giovanni di Medici? Papa and uh, Mil... Medici. This is Italian guy, yeah? I think it's, it's related to this family. Oh, okay. Cinco cento. So they were a, a powerful family in historical Italy. Like, uh, what would be ca called Italy at the time? Would be like more Venice? Like... Mm -hmm. Okay, 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 okay. So, yeah, so Papa and Con el nombre de Leon. De Leon Diez. Yes, yeah, okay. So with the name the Leon, okay. So, so what is Papa? It's written with a capital letter. Right. So when you see something written with a capital letter, it's either a proper name or it's a, an important person. Right, right. So what do you think Papa mean? We talk about Italy. We talk so about a powerful family. Father of Italy, kind of, like the... The father, <laughs> yeah, it could be. You know, it's not father, like head so, of it, kind of like. Okay, 
So Papa sounds a lot like Pope, doesn't it? Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, so yes, actually, Pope <laughs> means this. It's like the father of the Catholic Church. Yeah. So yeah, we call it Papa. It's like right. Father. Exactly. Right. You're right. Papa comes from Pater. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Like so Pope. these people are named Pope. Yeah. What is the? So can you scroll up? Yeah. So fue yeah. nombrado kind of because fue nombrado. Yeah. He was named. Yeah. He pope. was made a Pope. Yeah. 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 And that's what, el nuevo aparato puede. Yeah, okay, I can. Okay, yeah, el nuevo, aparato, uh, el nuevo aparato puede por control remoto. Okay, remoto por control. Uh, so, so control rem remoto. Yeah, right, right. Let's break it down. So, what does remoto look like? So, like a remote control? Kind remote, of yeah, so yeah. it can be remote control or yeah, you can control right. by remote, yeah, by yeah, distance. distance. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. So you have a new apparato. So this looks like a apparatus. <laughs> yes. So it's like a machine. Yeah, this new apparatus can be remote controlled or something like that. By remote control. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. So which one do you think it is? Uh, so I have to do something about moving or being guide or something like that, yeah? Yeah, so so en so envenados is uh, envenenado. Okay, I think this is poison. This is probably the number three. It should be this one. Fueron en, eran envenenados. Yeah, okay, okay. So okay. envenenado is yeah. like v venom. Yeah. Okay, venom. Okay. So in that case, yeah, I would say ser dirigido. Dirigido. Okay, dirigido. Okay. So dirigir. What does dirigir mean? So dirigir is, is like turn on, like like right kind of, right? Like... No, dirigir is to give direction. Oh, okay. okay. Direct. Or to guide, yeah? okay. to lead. Okay. okay. Yeah? That's why the, the person that leads the group, yeah? We call okay. it director. Director. Okay. Because... Dirigido, okay. Dirigido. Yeah? All right. Anyway, this kind of construction, as you can see, it's more of a written style. Okay, okay. Okay? So, usually this construction, like say, trasladado, ha sido construida, it's more like a written Spanish thing. It's okay. very formal. Okay. People usually don't speak like that. Okay. Okay? Han sido, ok, completo alguna de las formas impersonales, sepas verbo, de ser personal, o verbo, ok, so here you need to use either se o de el plural. Oh, ok, so se, ok, so se es el verbo, o de plural, that's ok. Uh -huh. So, este año no me han subido. Ok. So, this comes from the verb, ok, let me... The subido is raised, the subido is raised. Raise mm -hmm. the salary or something like that. Exactly. So literally, this year they they have not raised the salary. Yeah. My yeah. salary. Yeah. 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 Because the company or the the it's, enterprise. Yeah. yeah it's not doing well, kind of. No va it's not, Exactly. It's not doing well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No va muy bien. Dos. So here you have the verb, okay? This is roba. So remember in, in English, is still, this right? is rob or still. Yeah, yeah. Remember in Spanish, rob and still is the same verb, okay? Yeah, you mentioned that in Seri. A Roberto y a le. So it, it, it is singular. So, um, uh, so, so it will be, uh, so um, like uh, if I do, Say so. Say then. Uh, uh, un, no say. Forget about say. So, it's it's say. Be, so then it will be unprobado. Unprobado. Exactly. So, so again, plural, why plural though? A Roberto y yeah, le unprobado. So this is plural, but why it is plural here? Okay, because we're talking about a person oh, so that we, we know. don't know. Who okay, someone stole my wallet kind of in exactly. the metro. This is in the metro. Okay. Twice so, in this is how we actually speak. When we talk about someone we don't care, or it's not really relevant. Mm -hmm. Okay. So here we say a Roberto ya le han robado. So okay. in English we say 
Robert has been already brought. Okay. okay. Oh, his wallet was uh, stolen uh, three times. Yeah. Uh, sorry, yeah. twice. Right. Dos yeah. veces. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, ya le han robado. Notice here we have a le. Yeah, okay. So, here this le, this is actually the same. It's the same. Yeah, not but, as, yeah, not so same kind of. Yeah. But uh, here we, we will use se in this construction, right? Okay. Le han robado. Okay, okay. Okay, let's try next one, number three. Yeah. Okay. okay, in la recepción me, uh, que ahora, or, uh, me, this, uh, so, Han dicho, han dicho, han dicho que ahora uh, uh, han subido uh -huh. a, a, a arreglar la ducha. Okay, arreglar, this means to fix, so men, yeah. men yeah, or yeah. repair, yeah. Repair, yeah, han dicho. So, a reception, so, I've, I've been told a in reception. The, in the reception. They are going right now, right now. Mm -hmm. They are going up to fix the shower. Yeah, the shower, yeah. okay. So subir, that is subir means to go up or to raise, yeah, yeah. rise. Yeah, even what for is... the salary, it was subido el to el, so raise mm -hmm. the salary. Okay. What is the opposite of subir, by the way? Uh, bajar. Um, bajar. Yeah, go down. And, uh, so I notice um, we usually have like like in English, you usually say go up or raise, depending on what you're talking about. In Spanish, everything that goes up is subir. Subir, okay. so, so it could be in a literal sense or in a metaphorical sense. Okay. And the opposite is bajar. Okay. Yeah. And the same way you mean go out, come out, go in, you're going to have two words in Spanish. Mm -hmm. Entrar, salir. 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 So everything that goes in, or walking, or yeah, jumping, yeah. or whatever mm -hmm. in, and drive. Yeah. And everything that you say, go out, come out, whatever out, salir. Okay. Okay. Cuatro, todos los ah. años. A todos los años han dicho que, que, el, uh, que el paro ha, ha bajado, mm -hmm. pero yo tengo muchos amigos. Okay, han dicho would be in the past, but here I'm talking about every year. So the, Oh, okay. So, so you have to use a present tense. Okay. So, so present okay. simple. So, okay. Dicen. Dicen. Okay. This dicen. Okay. 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 Every year. Is, exactly. Okay. So every year. Okay. Okay. El so, uh, every year, it is. It is said. No. It is said yeah. that. Paro. So this is unemployment. Yeah. Abajado. So. Uh, it's the opposite of subir. Yeah. Subir. Yeah. Okay. Has gone down, yeah. Yeah, but. Pero, yo tengo yeah. muchos amigos, but I have a lot of friends que no, que no encuentran, they cannot find the job. job. Uh -huh. Cinco. Okay, so. Okay, okay so. Uh, okay, so here it is K in those uh, mail, okay, 2050. Uh, so this is future, right? So it has to be then. Uh... No, actually, it's not future. It's more like um, present. Yeah. Okay. So 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 in in that means uh, uh, calculo. Uh, okay. Calculo is I calculate. No, so it, it is not nice. So here, okay. So here. We talk about prediction, yeah? Yeah, right, right. So, so when you talk about prediction... Uh, it, it, so it is calculan then. So you could say calculamos. It would be an uh, no, active no, no. voice, yeah? Okay. But you could also say this in another way, which is with this se, which is the impersonal construction. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, so then it so will be... se calcula. Okay, se, cal se calcula, okay. So this C in this kind of construction means something like one. It's like it's an impersonal expression. Okay, okay. Se calcula. Se calcula. So it is it is believed or it is calculated literally. Okay, okay. That in, in English you would say it is believed. 
It is believed that in 2050 there will be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Says. Okay, para poner en marcha el aparato, el botón verde. Okay, so button. So one presses the green button. Yeah, right, right. So. So, apretar is, uh, so then it, this is also present, right? So, mm -hmm. so then say, say, say apretar. Se apretar, exactly. Siete. En la época de rebajas, algunas cosas muy, bar muy baratas, pero de mala calidad. Encontrar. Okay, so in, in, so in la época de rebajas. So at the sales time, so yeah, at the time of sales. So right. época is like period of time, yeah? Yeah, okay, and so it's the sales time. So, so yeah, rebajas is like so sales. Be, so this will be plural kind of because algunas, so. Mm, not really. Okay. Because here you talk like in general. Okay. So, so when you talk in general, Usually we say se. So okay, se, se, so se en contra. En, se encuentra. En contra, en contra, yeah. mm -hmm. Okay, let's go through this one more time. Okay. Uh, can you read this one? Yeah. Esto año no me han subido el sueldo porque la empresa no, ma, no va muy bien. Okay, so notice we use the plural expression when we mean a person. Okay, like someone. Okay. And notice later you're going to use se when you mean in general, like one mm -hmm. person in general, not a specific one. Yeah, so here, here we talk about a specific person, but it's not relevant. Yeah. Okay? So they didn't raise my salary or something. Like exactly. That. They didn't. It's like saying they didn't raise my salary. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Although in English you will use a different structure altogether. Mm -hmm. Those. A Roberto y él le han robado la cartera dos veces en el metro. Mm -hmm. uh, tres. En la recepción me han dicho que ahora han subido a arreglar, a arreglar la ducha. Mm -hmm. Cuatro. Uh, todos los años dicen que el paro ha, ha bajado, pero, pero yo tengo muchos amigos que no encuentran encuentran Trabajo. Uh -huh. Cinco. Se calcula que en uh, uh, dos mil cincuenta uh, yeah. yeah. habrá una habrá una mayor de la población con más de cincuenta uh, años. So effectively the population will be more more than fifty years kind of like uh, more. Not effectively. Majoría means like the majority. Yeah? The majority, so the majority of the population will be over 50. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. I don't know about this. <laughs> <laughs> I think they are gone from by maybe, now. Maybe if we are alive, we will win that range. No, I think it will be, I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> if, if, if I'm alive when, I, when it's 2050, I'll see that. Okay. <laughs> Para poner, uh, para poner en marcha el aparato, se aprieta el botón verde. Okay, so press okay. the green button. And... So in order to put in uh, marcha. So para el marcha is like to start. Yeah? The apparatus. Uh... To start the apparatus or the machine. Yeah. yeah. Press. One presses the green button. Green button. Okay. okay. One or in English, you would say you have to press the green button. Simple yeah. style. Yeah? Okay. Siete. En la época de rebajas se, se encuentra algunas cosas muy baratas, pero de mala calidad. Mm -hmm. Okay, good job. Uh, it'll, it'll take time, okay? Yeah, this is, yeah. <laughs> it's, but we use this a lot in Spanish, actually. Yeah, sure. Uh, ocho. Okay, el arroz con leche. Con leche, no con agua. Okay, so... <laughs> Obvious, <me>. obviously. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's called arroz con leche. <laughs> so, is made. Huh? We yeah. use in English. Yeah, so, okay. So, hacer. So, then, 
Son, it's, it's, so you're talking in general. You're not talking about someone specifically, yeah. So then this is impersonal. So then it will mm -hmm. be say. So that so then it will be say. So say uh, uh, as say. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Let me show you a rot con leche. Very important. Yeah. So yeah. this is a dessert you have. Yeah. In many countries and um, even in Latin America, they have this. Uh, funnily enough, in in UK, it's not very popular. I don't know why, because this is the best thing ever. <laughs> if you haven't if you haven't tried this one, you have to. Next time you come around, ask yeah. for arroz con leche. <laughs> so this is like a rice pudding. Yeah, yeah, rice pudding with with but cinnamon. It's with cinnamon, it has some lemon. It's really, 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 yeah. yeah. It's it's quite. Uh, I mean, it's quite good. If you haven't tried. Uh, if you like a dessert, uh, yeah, this is one of my favorite less. desserts, probably. Yeah, but I should eat, eat less. All <laughs> okay. uh, right. What was I? So se hace. Okay. So yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Enrique López, lo uh, jefe de departamento comercial. Okay. So, so question. That? Yeah. Here, are we talk about someone or we'll talk about in general? So we are talking about Enrique Lopez, right? So we talk about someone to him, yeah? Someone right. did something to him. Yeah. That's why so, you have this ah. Uh? Ah, uh, okay, 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 okay. So, in so that this, is not the, this is not the second structure, it's the other one, yeah? Yeah, so it it's will like be the sub the, here, right? Like the, the to be kind of thing. It would be no, it would be the, the plural construction. Oh, okay. So someone did yeah, okay, okay. So so okay. So, so nombrar it sounds so, like name, doesn't yeah. it? So it means to name. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. So so yeah. So so then it'll be on Enrique lo han nombrado. Yes. Nombra, yeah. Nombrado, yeah. So Enrique lo han nombrado. So someone named him boss of the commercial but, department, yeah. literally. Yeah? Okay. Or, made, or someone made him. He was in English. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. Para well, hacer tortilla de patatas. Patas las patatas. Uh, cortarse so cut. So en rodajas no muy finas. Okay. okay. Talk, I will fine. talk about someone specifically. I will talk in general here. In general, I will say. So this is the se construction, isn't it? Se, se. So se, se corta. Exactly. And rodajas. Yeah. So rodaja is like slice. Slice, but not too fine, kind of. Not very fine. Exactly. Uh, by the way, I have an excellent tortilla patata in my fridge I made the other day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love it too, actually. This is also one of my favorite tortilla de patatas espanol. I'm sure you tried this one before, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> very, very, very. I mean, it's, it's not that difficult. Um, basically, you have to slice like in rodajas or rodajas like this. Mm -hmm. So we call this yeah. rodajas. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. Uh, once. Okay. Este año más coches que el año pasado. Okay. So vendir, so selling, selling. So mm -hmm. again, this is uh, impersonal, right? Because mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So so then it will be uh, se uh, se uh, vende mm -hmm. se vende. Okay. Se vende más. Okay, so this year they sold more cars than last year. So in English you would say something different. So in English you have to rearrange the whole sentence. So this year more cars Versus. are sold than last year. Last you would say in okay. So not not just the construction is completely different. Yeah, yeah. The ordering is totally. <laughs> yeah. So the, yeah. So not this, like the problem is like in Spanish. It's richer in this like. Mm -hmm. In English, it's like you only have one option. Mm -hmm. But in Spanish, you have many, many options. You could express the same in many different ways. And this is why Spanish is so difficult, because it's 
you have a lot of um, words for the same thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, for example, take the the word pig. So in English, you basically have pig, hog, swine. That's it, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. In Spanish, cerdo, marrano, cochino, ah, chancho, okay. and the list goes on and on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so yeah, this is a problem with the Spanish. It's like it's. It's huge, yeah. It's yeah, and then yeah. you have many varieties, mm -hmm. even more than in English, I think. Like in English, yeah, you basically have really like American great. English, British English, Australian, yeah, and Indian English. Kind of, it, it's but great. in Spanish, it's like if you go, uh, basically here in Spain, every sixty kilometers you move, you have a different accent. No, the thing is this: like English for me is the easiest language. <laughs> just because I speak English, but my mother tongue is different and mm -hmm. I am much more comfortable in English than my mother tongue. Like, Just because I haven't written yeah. in my mother tongue for 30 years, maybe. Yeah, you're going you're gonna to see that in Spanish, um, there's not one way. There are many ways to say the same thing. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And this is one example. So when you talk about something or someone did some, something and you don't really want to talk about who did something mm -hmm. because it's not really important, you have this four construction. And the one that you use most in English is the one we use least in Spanish because uh -huh. it's the, like the written style. So in English you usually say, I was robbed, my wall was stolen, um, I was beaten. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In Spanish, we hardly ever use fui robado or yeah. So fui... Said, it is more in the written style, but when exactly. they more stay when or... speaking, we usually use the plural. Okay. We so use the this is the this is the one we use the most. The most. So yeah. you also use me han dicho, me han robado, uh, me han nombrado, me han subido. Mm -hmm. Okay, so que el tiempo va a cambiar y va a venir el frío otra vez. Okay, decir so que el tiempo. So again, this is impersonal, I think, because so so it will be said and said said dicho kind of kind of yeah said this yeah said dice. So this is. It is said in it English. Is, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Trefe. Okay. Por favor, sabe como? Uh, so where is the, how do I go to the cathedral kind of? So, okay, how... in, English, in English you will say, how do I go? You can also say that in Spanish. Sabes como puedo ir? Or como, como voy? Okay, como this voy. is also possible. Okay. But but you also have another option, which is to use the impersonal sentence. Okay, so say okay, so then and then it will be seba uh, kind of, exactly. uh, uh, yes seba yes. Yeah, seba. So this is more like in English you say one goes. Yeah. So in English you could also say it sounds very weird in English, but it's also possible. So you could say, uh, do you know how one goes to the cathedral? It sounds very formal. Okay, right, right, right. In Spanish, it's not as weird as in English. It's, it's quite common, actually. So you mm -hmm. could, this one you could say like this. ¿Sabe cómo se va la catedral? Or you could also use, like, you could personalize it. So you could say, ¿Sabes cómo voy a la catedral? Okay, okay. okay. ¿Sabe cómo se puede ir a la catedral? Yeah. Mm, okay. Yeah. okay. Or, okay. if you are lazy, you could also say, Para, para ir a la catedral. Yeah? Oh, okay, so, so, or, okay. Para ir a la catedral. So this is quite common in Spanish as well. You could also say para ir. Yeah? Okay, para, you mean, ir. para ir a la catedral, para Málaga, yeah? para no sé qué. Catorce. Que el entrenador del Real Madrid ha dimitido, pero no le la dimitido. Mm -hmm. Dimitir, what it means? Okay, dimitir is to quit, yeah? okay. like to quit a job or okay. to resign. Yeah? Okay, okay. And, but not la dimisión. Okay. 
So, so okay, K length. So here we are talking about uh, K length. Okay. Del so you talk about a comment. Comment that is, looks like comments. Yeah, comments. Right, right. So no, but um, what what I'm saying is this: Will this be impersonal? Because this is uh... not personal. Because yeah. okay, I'm gonna give you a clue. When you have this K. Mm -hmm. Usually, you don't have an impersonal expression, especially in this kind of construction. Okay. So, this is like in English you say, it is said that, blah, blah, blah. Uh -huh. It is okay. believed that, blah, 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 blah. Okay. okay. So, this is... So, say, say comment. Yeah. So, say comment. Yeah. It's like people comment or it is okay. commented okay. that, blah, blah, blah. Okay, people say or something like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, I admit, pero no, pero no le, uh, uh, say, uh, say, uh, say, admit. Uh... Okay, look at uh, at here. So here we talk about an entrenador de Real Madrid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Sam, what did he do? He did this. Yeah. He yeah. Uh, he wanted to quit. Quit. Okay, but. So we talk about him okay. in the in the team. Yeah. Okay. And something, something, something. Dimisión. Dimisión is like resignment, yeah? Yeah, okay, okay. So this is not impersonal. Okay. We so talk about someone specifically, yeah? Right, right. So Someone, so, so probably we talk about the president of the Real Madrid, yeah? Right, right, right. So so then it will be like the sir, the fue, or, or the un, un kind of the plural sense, un admitted. Mm -hmm. Pero no le han admitido la admisión. Okay, I'm gonna clue you can have is this le. So remember, when you have this le, see, you I can see. never, never, never use a se. You could never see le se in Spanish. I see, I see, I see. I see. So when you have this le and you talk about passive, you're probably gonna have the pro. I see, I see. So can you notice the difference? So one is, so when you talk about se, we mean people in general. Mm -hmm. And when you're using the plural, you talk about someone, but you don't really want to talk about who. Yeah? Or mm -hmm. you don't, it's not really relevant. Mm -hmm. So someone did that to me yeah? or to somebody. Okay. So the first thing is people are commenting or people are saying about mm -hmm. something. And then the thing is that something he or she did something else kind of. So exactly. So admitted is to admit admitted. or accept. Yeah, so he yeah. wanted to resign, but, but he, his uh, resignment was not accepted. accepted. Yeah, okay. okay. Resignation yeah. was not accepted. Yeah, something like that. Mm -hmm. His demission was not accepted. Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. So the demission is like you want to, keep, to quit a job. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. En los países hispanoamericanos. Mm -hmm. Hispan That's okay. Uh, muchas fiestas el año. Okay, celebrate. So this is. A group of so this also will be on kind of because this is okay. I would are you talking about someone specifically? Or are you no, talking about no, people no, in general? general? Okay, so this is impersonal actually. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's, it will be say, uh, celebra exactly. It is uh, celebrated in yeah, in Los Pais in the countries, Hispan Americans, the celebrate like muchas fiestas el año mm -hmm. in the year. Mm -hmm. So fiesta, this is something we love. <laughs> Parchi, yes. We all love that. Okay, in Mexico they have these quinceañeras. It's unbelievable. Yeah. It's like a wedding for a, a teenager. Yeah? <laughs> unbelievable. We don't really have those here. But in Mexico it's like a big deal. A quinceañeras. Unbelievable. Yeah, yes. Mexico is very party oriented. <laughs> Over here, what you're gonna see is uh, las comuniones. Let me show you. Maybe so. This is related to the Catholic religion. So ah, comuniones. Okay. So comuniones. So like communi communion. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you can see a lot of uh, ah, twenty. Okay. So they are usually ten or twelve, and they go. You know, it's like. A huge wedding for teenagers as well. I have actually seen things like this in some of the Pueblos Blancos mm -hmm. in front of the church, like this kind of procession. Yeah, so this is this is a comunión. Okay. 
Okay, ah, something, okay, maybe you talk about, okay, there's something that looks like KKK, but it's not KKK. Profesiones Semana Santa. So this is very, very common, uh, what, in, in this region? Exactly, so you're, exactly. So you're going to people dress up like this? Because last year... But no, year, there are no KKK, okay? <laughs> well, before, I wasn't... Uh, no, I have no idea why... Why the tradition you have to wear these? I don't really know, honestly. <laughs> I don't know where the tradition comes from. I don't know. And so, in Spain, se conduce por la derecha. Okay. So, uh, okay, so here you have to rearrange the sentence. Sentence, okay. Uh, okay. Mm. So, se, so, so se, se, se necesitan. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, okay, so se necesitan uh, para me, uh, no, más medios uh, para los uh, para resolver los delitos. Mm -hmm. So uh, more means to are resolve. necessary in order to resolve Crime. crimes. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Tres. Okay, so este, uh, okay, so uh, este, oh, yeah. este disco, es, um, este disco, no se oye, no se oye bien, what it means, mm -hmm. okay. So, so oye, what is oye? So, oye is oir, like to see. Oh, yeah. like, like so to this hear. is another. This is another word we use yeah. in oye. Spanish a lot. Yeah. It also means so. Oye literally means hear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, este disco. So you you talk about a disc or maybe a CD or something like that. Right. Or right. A, you know one of these old ones that are big. Right. Like and so disc. No, so say. you can't hear well this disc. Okay. Basically, yeah. So when you play with this, the sound is not good, yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, um, another expression we use with oye. Oye also means something like "Hey, you." It's when you want to call someone attention. You can also mm -hmm. say "oye." Mm -hmm. Especially, I don't know. For example, imagine someone goes to a restaurant and he wants to leave without paying. So the waiter is gonna be "oye, paga, paga la cuenta antes de irte." Okay. Yeah. So if you want to call someone's attention, okay. you could say, oh, yeah. It's a little bit uh, direct. Okay. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Also, for example, I use this one when a student is misbehaving. So uh -huh, I say, uh -huh. oye, portate bien. Yeah? Behave yourself. Yeah? Uh, cuatro. Okay, so ahora. ahora okay, so selling peri periodicos. Selen más más like más uh, periódicos que que antes que antes I don't agree <laughs> I don't agree at all I think it's the opposite <laughs> like honestly I have some students uh, when I see them so they are young students like 14, 15 and they don't really know how how to write anymore okay honestly they don't read anymore okay yes yeah so they, they, they use tiktok ah. this is what they do <laughs> vchat or tiktok or those things yeah exactly okay so aquí se fumar uh, no puede and uh, no 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 se fumar puede so don't smoke kind of. other way around yeah Oh, no se puede fumar. Or no, se... no se puede fumar. What does it mean? So, so here, don't smoke. You can't smoke here. You were saying you, you, you can't. Okay. So, poder is can. Yes. Okay. So you, can't, said, you can't smoke can't. here. You can't smoke. Not this is Spanish is completely different. Yeah. Aquí no se puede fumar. Okay. Okay. No se puede fumar. Okay. Another thing you might find, especially uh, at hospitals. It's something like this. Prohibido. Okay. Fumar. Yeah. okay. So, smoking is forbidden. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to have to write. Um, okay. 
Uh, let's have a break from the passive a little bit. Okay. We're going to take a look at expression with the gerund okay. and expression with the past uh, participle. Okay. okay, okay. So let's talk about the gerund. What is a gerund? So FR plus the ING kind of, so ando or in. Okay, will be comiendo, bailando. Bailando, so dancing. Eh, corriendo. Yeah. So remember there is always an N, and the O, and the something like that. Corriendo, yeah. It looks very similar to the other one, but you have this N. So uh, where can you find this? You can find this. We've seen it the other day when you say, I am talking, I am speaking. So with this one, you're going to use a star, right? And it it can be in the past also, right? I was talking. Right? Any tense. Uh, past, future. Yeah. So you're going to have this. Star yeah. mas gerundio. Yeah. 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 I am mm -hmm. working. I was, I was walking. I will be walking. Whatever, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Also, you can find it in the ear. Plus gerundio. Mm -hmm. So this is another expression we have. Uh, poco a poco vamos aprendiendo. Okay. So yes, in English you could also say we are learning. Okay. But notice the difference here when you use this ir, it's more of a gradual thing. Okay. okay. Rather than something that is happening right now. Right now, I see. I see. So poco a poco, so we are learning little by little. little. Me voy haciendo viejo. I'm getting old. old okay. So notice when you use it instead of star, yeah, it's, it's, we're talking about a change old. that is happening little by little. Yeah? Yeah. And I think it's better to get old slowly rather than getting mm -hmm. old all of a sudden. <laughs> exactly. That's why we say voy haciendo. Me voy, voy haciendo viejo. Voy haciendo, okay, yeah. And you would say me estoy haciendo. It's also possible. Me estoy haciendo viejo is also possible. Okay. Okay. But with this ir instead of star, it's more of a gradual change. It's like you are putting emphasis on this gradual. Yeah? So, voy trabajando. You could also say, voy trabajando, voy aprendiendo. Yeah? Okay, okay. So, so it's the difference between estoy aprendiendo y voy aprendiendo is that with voy aprendiendo, you are putting emphasis on that gradual change. Gradual change, okay. okay. Whereas, Estoy aprendiendo is more like Suddenly. right now. Yeah? Right. Now I'm learning. Yeah? Uh, and yeah, you could use in any tense. You could use in the past. Iba conduciendo. Cuando tuvimos el accidente, iba conduciendo Ricardo. O estaba conduciendo Ricardo. It's the same, pretty much. Yeah? There's no big difference between, say, estoy comiendo y voy comiendo. The only difference is when you say ir is more of a gradual thing. Okay. okay. Now, you can also use this in another expression we use a lot. Okay, with seguir. seguir. So, seguir is a, a common verb in English. I mean, in Let's Spanish. Follow, right? Yeah. Okay. So, seguir means to follow. Yeah. But, but, most of the time, we use it with another meaning. We use it with the meaning of still or keep. Yeah. Oh, okay. Especially when you use a germ. In English, you would say it's still, so it's like something is still happening. Okay. So, for example, sigo buscando trabajo. I'm still looking for a job. Yeah. Ah, okay. Buscar, okay. Trabajo. Well, I keep looking for a job. Okay. Mm -hmm. Le dije que se callara. I told him to shut up. But sí, sí. he kept talking. Yeah, I'm talking. Okay. okay. He kept on talking. Yeah. Now, um, we also have this verb, llevar. Yeah, I saw this in some one of the sentences, like that there was a, a, a llevas and followed by the gerund kind of. Mm -hmm. Okay, so llevar, the basic meaning of llevar is to take or to carry, or it could be to wear. Yeah, so basically, basic meaning is to take. Mm -hmm. But, used with a gerund, um, it's... It means something like for in English. It's like you talk about period of time. Okay. So every time you see llevar plus gerund, you talk about from this time up to this time. Okay. It's like talk about period. Period of time. For example, llevo esperando desde las cuatro. So I've been waiting since four. Okay. 
word. Okay, okay. Now this is completely different from English. Has nothing to do with the English structure. <laughs> right, right. And yeah, and llevar here doesn't need, doesn't mean to take. Okay. Uh, and again, you could use in any tense in the past, in the future. Yeah. Okay. So and. You can also put the time in the middle, so you can rearrange the sentence and change the order. Okay, okay. So Sofía llevaba cuatro meses viviendo en México cuando conoció a Mario. So okay. this llevaba viviendo. Okay. We are talking about she has been living or yeah. she has lived, yeah? Okay, okay, four times or something. Exactly. So llevar plus chair is period of time. Mm -hmm. For example... ¿Cuánto tiempo llevas aprendiendo español? Okay. Um, and then, when you use a gerund and you use a pronoun, uh, it's attached at the end, yeah? Rompiéndola, dándole, quejándose, yeah? Okay, so what is the... Okay, so you, we use a gerund with a pronoun, so... Yeah, when you use a gerund with a pronoun, this pronoun is attached at the end. Yeah? Ah, okay, okay, okay. So, le, la, okay, I exactly. see. Exactly. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Lo, okay. Now, let's take a look at the other one. So, this is the gerund. Okay. And, of course, you have expression with the past participle. So, already okay. we've seen a few of them. Okay. So, the past participle can be several things as well, just like in English. Okay. okay. Uh, um, of course, you have irregular ones. Yes, this yeah. one you just have to yeah. learn by heart. So, mm -hmm. visto, roto, escrito, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, um, so we've seen at the first time we saw this, we see this with the haber to okay. talk about uh, the past, yeah. Okay. Something that happened in the past mm -hmm. somehow mm -hmm. is still relevant now, yeah. Okay. okay. For example, as visto. And of course, you can use this one in the past, but this is like had eaten, okay. like even further in the past. Okay. Okay. Anyway, um, also in the se construction or the plural construction, so no me han, no me ha, no me he acordado. So, Lucy y Jorge no se habían levantado. So with the se. Okay, se so habían levantado. Or for example, el hospital fue inaugurado. Okay. Estas casas van a ser derribadas. Yeah? Okay. okay. However, this past participle also has the meaning of an adjective. It could be used as an adjective. So it's the verb being used as an adjective. Okay. For example, just like in English, actually. Hay un vaso roto. So there is a broken glass. Broken glass, okay. Mm -hmm. Estás, eh, están abiertos los bancos. Broken glass, so the broken is the adjective, so that is the root of kind of here. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. Tengo manchadas todas las camisas. Okay. Esa mesa está muy bien hecha. Okay, okay. Yeah. esa mesa está muy bien hecha. Okay. Tengo que retirar las hojas muertas. Tengo que retirar. So, so las hojas muertas is sí. dead, dead leaves. Le oh, hojas is leaves, okay. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And yes, you can also use this with the verb estar to talk about the result of an action. So it's, I did this and this came out. For example, ya está arreglada la lavadora. So the, um, the dishwasher, no, uh, the washing machine, sorry. Okay. The washing machine is already fixed. Okay, I I so you talk about a result, okay. and yes, you can also use this verb with the past participle to okay. talk about something that is still the same. So before we said it with the gerund to say like someone is still doing something, now it's like something is still the same. It doesn't change. Okay. So it, it didn't change a bit. It's still the same situation. Okay. For example, la puerta del salón sigue rota. So the door, uh, the it's door of the dining room, or the uh, sitting room, sorry, is still broken. Broken, okay. So yeah, it, it means still basically here. Okay. Esta mañana había dormido bien, pero seguía cansado. I was still tired. Okay. And yes, 
you could also use the Jebaris construction to say like some some something um, didn't change for this period of time, or it was like this for this period of time. Okay. For example, Rita and Jaime llevan casado, so they have been married. Yeah, okay. llevan casados five years. Yeah, fifteen years. Oh, 15, okay, yeah, <laughs> fifteen. Uh, yeah, you can also say this. For example, Rita y Jaime lleva 15 años casado. It's the same, actually. Yeah? Okay. Okay. So, yeah, the only difference here is, like, when you use past participle, you talk about the situation. When you use gerund, you talk about an action. Okay. Right? Okay, okay let's do... Uh, mm -hmm, Japan. Okay, we're going to do this one. So, you're going to use... Ir, seguir, llevar plus a gerundio okay. of one of these. Yeah? Okay. For example, ¿dónde trabajas ahora, Carlos? Right. Sigo trabajando, so I'm still working in el, el, la academia de idioma, in the yeah. school uh, language. Uh, sorry, language school. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So acad acad academy is like academy, yeah. idiomas mm -hmm. is like languages. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, ¿Cuánto tiempo? ¿Cuánto tiempo juntos, Arturo y tú? Uh, so, ¿Cuánto tiempo? ¿Qué es lo que te Salir. Es going to be the verb. Ok, ¿cuánto tiempo? Um, so, ¿cuánto tiempo es how long? Yeah, how long? Ok, yeah. Arturo y tú. Uh, so, when you ask how long you talk about period of time right right so so that will be llevar right so it so it will mm -hmm. be so it will be uh, uh llevar saliendo like llevar saliendo yes. llevar, llevar, yeah because it's llevar just, saliendo yeah. juntos yeah how long have you been going out together together okay yeah and we say Jebais, but we talk about Arturo y tú. Arturo y tú, yeah, so tú. Claudia. Claudia no está bien del todo, pero... Del todo, pero then it will be papar, like take out the dog, kind of. Mm, how's the sea? Uh, right, and, and the verb will be papar here, right? Because... Uh... She's still improving. Oh, okay, so still, okay, so, mejorando, uh, so, so, sigue, mejorando, mejorando, okay, let's break it down, so, yeah. Claudia is not, uh, uh, quite well yet, so, yeah, bien del todo means, is like, it's not oh, perfect pero, yet, so, here, pero is but, so, I was for some reason thinking, okay, so, yeah, she's yeah. still improving, sigue, improving. mejorando, mejorando, mm -hmm. Uh, okay, we're gonna do one more. Me duelen los ojos. Okay. Desde las ocho. So it is a period of time, kind of. So mm -hmm. it so, will be llevar. Uh, so or, I'm talking about, talking about me, so llevo. Llevo, yes, uh, yeah. Llevo uh, desde las ocho. So, uh, so I'm talking about my eyes. So it has to do something with my eyes. Right. So probably reading, yeah? Yeah, lead. Yeah, so it will be le leyendo. Leyendo. Yeah, leyendo. So, llevo leyendo desde las... So, I've been reading since eight. Yeah, okay. I think it just finished. But, uh, okay, yeah. don't worry. So, uh, I could say... Okay, let's stop.